Hey, it's me, JV, and I am back from Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. It was a really good trip. There's some goods, there's some bads. I'm gonna show you guys as many pictures as I can in this sub Saturdays. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. It's been an incredible, busy, incredibly busy time getting back. This is a little blue. You guys haven't seen him too much, but he's grown from a little tiny itty bitty rat. Don't go down there, don't go down there. He's going down there. Yeah, man, Vegas is like nowhere else I've ever been. I thought it might be a bit like Manhattan. That is the favorite place of mine that I've ever been to thus far. Um, but it wasn't, it was completely different. It was, there are so many people. You guys, I don't know if there's any place in the entire world that has more people than Las Vegas. What do you think, Blue? I don't know, GV. I think you're totally right 100% of the time. You're just always right. You're the most right person that ever lived. Well, thank you, Blue. I don't know why you have a Texas accent. That's kind of weird. I'd say the best thing about Vegas is the food and the shows. I'm not much of a gambler. I did gamble like $100, lost all of it, knew that I would, and really didn't gamble at all other than that. Um, I don't really find gambling fun, so it's not really for me. But the shows were amazing. Uh, my family and I saw um, Cirque du Soleil's Love, which was a Beatles show. The Beatles are in my top four favorite bands, uh, so I absolutely love it. <laughs> uh, we also saw Cirque du Soleil's One, which was a Michael Jackson show. That was amazing as well. We saw Divas, which was like a, a, a what do you call it, a drag queen show. That was pretty good. We saw like V, which was a variety show. We saw uh, Matt Franco, which was a, a magician that won America's Got Talent three years ago. That was really good. That was a really good magic show. We went to Flavor Town. It's not actually called that, but Guy Fieri's Las Vegas restaurant. Um, and I had a macaroni and cheese burger, which I'll show you guys a picture of. Uh, in and out Burger, got some in and out um, Just various places. I don't even think we went to too many chains. Uh, the food was great, the shows were great. Um, there's a lot of people though, there's a lot of smoke. Um, I hate the smell of cigarette smoke and it permeates like everywhere everywhere all my clothes getting back were like covered in smoke you can't get away from it so if you really hate that stuff it's kind of sucks um, tons and tons of tourists I mean I was a tourist but just everybody is a tourist and and it, there's so many people I need to reiterate how many people there are everywhere Pecorino's time to shine I know they look similar but this is my best buddy Pecorino he's the best rat that's ever lived aren't you he's so calm um, yeah, I would highly suggest you guys all visit it uh, at some point. I would never take kids there if I had my own kids. Um, I've heard it described as more kid friendly these days, but honestly, I don't think it's kid friendly at all. There's a lot of like angry people, there's a lot of rude people, screaming, fights, no matter where you're at. Um, it's a very kind of vitriolic place in certain locations, but it is still amazing and there's no place like it on earth that I have seen personally. So if you're an adult, I would suggest that you go see it. It's, it's again, there's nothing like it. There's lots of stuff to do. Show The strip is amazing. There's so many things to do, see, buy, eat on the strip. Um, it was truly an incredible experience. So yeah, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments section below. Um, I wasn't really able to prepare that much for this week's Sub Saturdays just because, like I said, I have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, hopefully I covered everything, and hopefully you guys find the pictures interesting. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Ow.